of the gold jerseys, dark blue shorts and dark blue socks against Cove in the traditional home strip this afternoon, the last league game for a couple of weeks and it is for who get us underway playing from left to right in the first half. Scully, Milne getting forward. Masson, Meganson, McAllister, McAllister in. Takes the deflection and it's a very early go. Just three and a half minutes played and Rory McAllister, with the aid of an outrageous deflection, it has to be said, gets Cove Rangers opening goal of the afternoon. Premiership today, Crystal Palace leading Leeds United by a goal to nil with an early goal there. And remember, early on this afternoon in the lunchtime kickoff, um, the pressure easing perhaps a bit on Oli Gunnar Solskjaer as Manchester United won 3 1 away to Everton. Masson with the ball to the front of the six yard box, lovely flick back and driven in. Oh, and it's cleared away and an offside decision as well. It looked as though it was a net bound. Uh, Great snapshot there from Meganson, driving in left footer. Didn't seem to be too much danger when the ball reached them, but from uh, what, 25? Barr and Robertson now who are playing up front for Forfer as uh, Shepherd, the former Edinburgh City player, has dropped back into the midfield, but it's McIntosh on the attack as it's deflected across to the back post and just as McAllister thought he was going to be in there, it was Fisher getting it away. Pretty much whipped it off his toe and then McIntosh plays it in, down into the ground and up and onto the crossbar there. It's a question attempt to just hoof the ball clear there by Barr, but at the expense of a free kick and Milne in space. Masson. Through to McAllister, McAllister with the back heel. Meganson's there, barged over, penalty kick. I don't think there's too much doubt about that one. McAllister with a cute back. So, Mitch Meganson looking to convert his fourth goal of the season. And he does. Lashed into the bottom left-hand corner of the net. Hoban went the right way, but he was never getting there. And who else but Mitch Meganson gets himself on the score sheet this afternoon, adding to McAllister's opening goal very early in the Redner. game. With the free kick then, Can Forfer finds a way back into the game just on the stroke of half time. Well, the answer is a resounding no. It was a terrible, terrible free kick from the player. And we thought this, the corner was poor enough just a moment or two ago, but that really was dreadful. Took all the pressure off later uh, in the month. And... Um, I have to say I'm not entirely up to date with exactly the positions in terms of who might be best runners up to get through. But Cove will be looking for two wins this week as the ball gets zipped in by McAllister. Looks as though it's on target, but reverse pass. Ross holds it up towards the back post. McAllister looking to get on the end of it. McIntosh lays it back, then McAllister in for Meganson. Oh, and it's a wonderfully worked goal as Meganson gets his second of the afternoon. It's Cove Rangers third, and that absolutely carved open that forward defence. Lovely ball in, nice layoff. Liam Boyce has scored a second goal for Hearts, who look as though they're going to gallop through the uh, championship and back into the Premiership. So they lead Cali Thistle by two goals to nil. Here it's 3-0 for Cove and Masson trying to increase that tally. Gets a return from McAllister. Makes space for the shot with the left foot. Good effort. Just rising too much. But yeah. Meganson, who's taken his tally onto five goals for the season already, finds McIntosh. Lovely turn in into space. McIntosh to the shot. 
And the goalkeeper just blocks it away at the near post, but that's McIntosh's best elsewhere. With the... Uh, East Fife bidding Dumbarton. And then East Fife will move off the bottom and Forfar Athletic will drop to the foot of the league. It is full time and we've uh, just heard that Falkirk have got a 